get Darby a little bit more into this. Uh, I was waiting for him to stand. I was going to get him to stand. He's going to do it. So I am now not going to click unless he picks it up. Can everybody see what's just happened? Yeah. What's happened? He thinks that's it. No? Yeah. What do you think happened? Boom. Yeah. Our superstitious behavior kicked in. He was lying down and lifting it. See what gets the click. I thought. So what's what he does? Lies down and now he's going to go out. <laughs> I'm just helping by lifting it so you can put it in his mouth instead. I normally wouldn't do this, but I want to get I want to get the behaviour moving a little bit quicker. And he's okay to do it with because we've done it low. Not this particular behaviour, but we've done lots of training together, so he trusts me. So I'm going to try and get him to take the weight of it now. I'm not going to take it off and then let him drop it when, he, when I click. So we've moved on to our second stage. Taking it and dropping it. Okay. Unless I touch it? Yeah. Well spotted. So what I'm going to set up, I'm going to change it actually slightly tweak it a little bit as I go. I'm going to touch it, okay, but I'm not going to lift it fully down. And I'm going to save, I can't do the save that behavior off me doing that. I still want to lift it a little bit higher. But you see how the down has now dried off? This is, this is dying off. Oh, we're back. Oh. See? I'm going to help him out a bit. Changed everything. What are you doing? Yeah, so what did I kick for that time? Yeah. Moving towards me. Yeah. Yeah. Moving towards me. Try again. But we're still at the picking and again. We're still at the picking dropping stage, and just incorporating the to get him. We're doing this very quickly. If I was doing this at home, I'd be doing this over a half an hour, twice an hour. But I'd be doing it in five or six minutes too.
make this easier for Dabby? What could I do? Okay. So, that's a very good question. No, I wouldn't introduce the keys until I have this fully back chain. Okay. Then all I will do is I will go really quickly through the whole back chain process again. Is it the key to pass? Mm. Yes, is it to pass? I'm going to move on now. So we've already got our first thing, second thing, dropping seven, and dropping in there. Mm. And we're going to start doing a bit of parry with the parry of the three weeks of jump. So we're going to put on the paper. I'm not going to spend the ticket to the I'm going to put it on the table as we go on with the game. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Keep it open for So now we're going to change the criteria slightly. I'm going to change the criteria because the jumping is pretty good from there to there. And we made it really easy. See, he's like, I can do it. Look, I'm a genius. I know. Oh, relax. It's okay. It's okay. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, because I'm talking. He's like, shut up. You're teaching me, not them. Talk to me. We're going to practice now. I'm going to click and reward for getting the, this on the ground and putting it on the chair. So I've changed the criteria slightly because I want to work on the jumping. Good job. Good job. Uh, that's a recall, by the way. That's a, classic, a classically conditioned recall. Um, so I want him to practice the jumping. He can do the jumping. Can he jump, with, jump and carry at the same time? Okay. I don't care if he drops it. It doesn't bother me.
chair closer so that at least when he does drop this, he's going to drop it on the table now. Mm. Why? Because it may be a too little thing for him. He might be thinking, yeah, it's a big jump with this onto the thing, and I might just put it there to rest for a second so I can get back on and then get it again. Yeah? Thank you. Sorry, too close to you. Sorry. My bad. So he's trying to get it on the table. Now, if I change my position and move up the table slightly, see, he'll jump onto the table. So when he goes to get it this time, it's, I'm going to be here, not there. But my, my, my position changes his behavior slightly. stage we have the, the jumping up and we'd be working on this for I'd work on this for days. Just getting it and picking it up, getting it, picking it up and bringing it and putting it on the table. Then I would add the seeking behavior, the finding it behavior. I may put it in plain sight and then out of the blue just tell them get it. I would at this stage I probably wouldn't name it. Because he's doing it 99%. When we name a behavior after we use a clicker or a marker work, what we do is we never name it till we love it. You might have heard me say that. I don't name it till I love it. Till I know exactly what I want. The end result is giving me what I want. I don't name it till I love it. Got it? But I may name it now because I love it. It's right there. I can add the other seeking part, which is actually technically another behavior. I might say, go find it. When he finds it, get it. Yeah. Okay. So how I would play that game would be something like that. you would have a little container so he doesn't throw it off the table. Because it's a pointless exercise if he puts it on the table, drops it off the table, then you have to bend, up, bend up and pick it up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still giving lots and lots and lots of cues, am I? I'm still really close, I'm, doing, I'm going to fade some of them now, I'm going to try and get them to do it from here. So watch what happens now, Darby doesn't move when I throw it now. <clears throat> he waits for me to give like a, a verbal cue of anything. I could say get it, I could say Scooby-Doo, I could put it on anything I like, it doesn't really matter, okay? Get it. back in line, I'm trying not to move too much. Good. So I would be all the time trying to fade my movements. Why Derby feeds off my movements a lot is everybody who has, anybody here have a dog? I'll reinforce that because that's pretty good. Anybody here have a dog? Yeah? If you want to get what Derby is offering now, which is that willingness to do and try and keep going, <clears throat> and the willingness to follow my hands or my gestures, movements, anything like that. Hand feed your dog for two weeks, every meal. Hand feed the dog. This works with cats, same. Hand feed. 
make the animals think your hand movements are an important thing to follow, good to look at, they'll follow a gesture, they'll, oh, that's cool, hands move, oh, cool, I'll go in the direction the hand is moving. That's why Darby will do that, just on a hand signal. Yes. You could also start fading in the keys, put just one key. I could. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that here. See? Let's do it. Make it too heavy. Yep, just a little too much around. Hang tight, please. I won't attach the clicker whenever I do, because that would be kind of pointless. Incremental steps. Sorry for delaying everybody. So when I do this, what should I do now? What should I do now? Come on, you should know this. Yeah, go back. I may not have to go all the way to this because it's that behavior is really strong. Yeah. I may skip and just go. You know what? I'll do the picking or the getting from a shorter distance. So see how it's changed? Yes. You see how the behavior has changed by adding those keys? That tells me I've added the keys too quickly. Yeah? It says, yeah, you've added the keys too quickly. That's okay. I, I, something I could do with these keys is like get some uh, insulated tape or something like that, tape them together so that they're a weight that don't jangle, they're a weight that just sits a little bit more. Loads and loads and loads of little things you could do and eventually open the keys out a little bit more so they do jangle. So I'm clicking just for getting there for a minute because that was really tough. Now we're getting places. So I'm going to move along really quickly. Just gone to my jump, just changed it slightly. Here's the big one. Will I click from coming up? Hmm. Really tough. So I'm going to lower my criteria at this point. If he puts his paw up again like that, I'll click for that. It's hard to get these up if they're making any noise. I mean, I'm tired for him. <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> I got him a nice deer after for all his work on the module, so he's not going to be able to do it. Go to town on that bad boy. criteria if I have to at any stage. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to help you on that one. Can we give you a little break? Hold on for a minute. 
Thank you. Are we okay? Anybody got any questions?